it's me, MLB. Here is the Top Delinquent, Chapter 57, and this one is titled Onwards to Walmart. A little unsure now, you waited until the paper had been passed to you, then grabbed for it and scanned down the numbers quickly. Number, number, where's my number? Pass, bitches! Yeah! Number one in the class again, baby! You grinned from ear to ear and passed the paper on, before sitting back smugly and crossing your arms across your chest with pride. Tenya! You hissed low enough to get his attention, but not loud enough to draw the others' attentions around you. He turned his head to the side, undercut on show as he lent his ear to your words. Time for a trip to see you. He flexed his jaw muscles and gave you a stiff nod, then looked back to the front of the classroom, and you tilted your head with confusion. What was that all about? You thought, furrowing your brows as you stared at the back of his head. Was he angry that I beat him? Again? Surely not. I didn't think he'd be like that. You tried to read his emotions from where you were sitting behind, but no good. Well, guess I'll just ask him after class, you thought, as you uncrossed your arms and leaned forwards, sitting them back on the desk again. After class, you decided to put your things in your locker before going to find Ida. You had just put your books away when you saw him approaching you down the hall, and you noted that he looked stern as he marched purposefully towards you. You closed your locker and turned to face him. Hey, you said, brows knitted in confusion. What's wrong with you? Why are you... Suddenly his arm was pressed beside your head against the locker as he towered over you a little, his intense small navy blue eyes piercing your very soul. Tenya? You asked meekly, taken by surprise and not knowing what to say to his sudden serious mood. I am overcome with emotion, he said in a serious voice. What? Why? Are you mad that I beat you? Yin, he said, still staring at you intently. I am honoured. He let go of the locker and bowed low before you, making you jump with surprise and embarrassment. Get up, you hissed, whipping your head left and right to make sure no one in the empty hall was seeing this. You have my greatest respects, he continued, still doubled over with his head down. Why? you hissed, grabbing him around the neck and trying to straighten him up. Because although you have been dealt a very harsh blow in life, you have not allowed it to affect your grades, and for that I am in awe. You stopped pulling on him and stepped back. Wait, you're not mad? you asked. I thought you were mad. I am the furthest emotion from mad, Ida said as he straightened and looked at you, tears brimming along his lower eyelids. Don't cry, you hissed in a hushed tone. This isn't cry worthy. But it is. I am honoured to be the boyfriend of such an incredibly strong woman, he said, bowing again. If you don't stop bowing right now, I'm going to knee you in the ribs, you hissed, chopping him on the head with the edge of your hand. Stand straight! Suddenly you were engulfed in a one-armed hug as Ida showed you just how much he thought of your tenacity despite the adversity, and you caved a little to his touch. Well, you mumbled into his shoulder. I did have you to thank. No, Yin, this is innate. You are born with this strength, and I pray that our children will be blessed with your resilience as well. Ch children You gasped, stepping back with a hot face. Who said anything about kids? I would like to be the father of your children in the future. Ida said earnestly, making your heart race. Tanya, you can't just say stuff like that out loud. I'm about to have a heart attack. I make no apologies for my forward comment, for I stand by my word, he said again. Okay, horny Shakespeare, you muttered with embarrassment. Anyway, in other news, you're coming with me to say you slash Walmart this afternoon because I need to get stuff. Must I? He suddenly sweat dropped. Yes, because I beat you fair and square in that test, and the rule was, if I win, you have to come to Walmart with me. Would it be advisable to bring some kind of protection? Where do you think we're going? To war? You laughed. Yes. It's just say you, it's fine. But Yin, the chair legs, Ida whispered with concern, pushing his glasses further up his nose. It'll be fun, you cajoled. Let me show you my world. I can show you the world, you started singing. I have concerns, Ida replied with a dubious look on his face. Four hours later. Let's go, you said excitedly, dragging him towards the large doors of the local Seiyu store. Yin, we are still in school uniform. I suggest we go home and change before venturing back here, Ida implored. No can do, buddy, you can't escape. I'm all aboard the hype train, he replied, yanking him into the store. Ida's jaw fell open when he saw the size of the place and paused for a second to take it all in. You can get literally anything here, you commented, replying to his look of amazement. Yin, this place is rather large. Yep, that's normal, you said, pulling him over to the shopping trolleys. You can buy a whole week's worth of meals here for like 50 bucks. 
Fifty dollars would not even buy a bottle of vintage French champagne, Ida commented as he idly pulled the shopping trolley from the bay, still staring down on the closest aisle. While he was preoccupied with the sights, you jumped up onto the side of the trolley and swung into it, the clanking sound of your feet hitting the metal bottom causing Ida to look at you. Yin, he gasped, mortified that you were now inside the trolley. Remove yourself at once. There are rules regarding the use of shopping carts. You must not... Onward, you implored. I need food. Yin, go, you pointed ahead. Let's do the shopping. Reluctantly, Ida pushed the shopping trolley forwards, still lecturing you about shopping etiquette and reminding you that you both were still in school uniform, so should anyone find offence in your actions, it would go back to the school immediately. I don't care, you replied. I'm not hurting anyone, just push the damn trolley cart so I can get food. And there ends chapter 57. Stay tuned for chapter 58 coming tomorrow.